Hey everyone, it's Jojo, and today I have a Crossfight Beatemon unboxing and review. This is Starter CB57 Gunlock Wolg, a power type. This is from the Emblem Charge System, or the ES System. I picked up this guy because I like wolves, and he looks really, really cool. And I'm still trying to get familiar with Beatemon, especially the Emblem Charge System. Um, I haven't even seen the anime yet, so um, I'm just picking up a couple of uh, Beatemon just to get familiar with it. Alright, so anyway, here is the front of the packaging. Uh, CB57, this is a power type, Gunlock Wolg, and it is by Takara Tomi. This is the Gangan Hobby Machine, I believe. Uh, WBMA for World Beatemon Association. Here is the logo for Crossfight Beatemon. And a really, really cool picture of Gunlock Wolg right there. And the actual Beatemon itself. So on this side, you can see the different stats. It has a uh, 7 power, uh, 4 control, and 4 rapid fire. Here are all the parts head, arm, emblem, core, and leg parts. Here is the back side of the packaging. Let's zoom in a little bit. Alright, so here at the top shows you how to hold them. Uh, showing off the gunlock core right here. Looks like it has a special type of trigger. And here is um, the beat em on firing at a target. And uh, showing off the arm right here, the Wolg arm and a claw joint, which I'll have to figure out what that is uh, once I do the unboxing. And here it seems like that's the owner. And a really crazy looking combo. Looks like the uh, sniper magazine, or the scope magazine, and the cannon arms. So that's about it for the packaging, let's get to unboxing. And here is Gunlock Wolg, and I think he looks really, really cool. I love the silver paint, the silver plastic on him. Looks really awesome. Um, I love the, the touches of red and black, and um, even the blue on the emblems are, look, look really cool. So here's a closer look at his headpiece. Um, there's a sticker right here, and these are kind of his eyes um, and the visor right there, kind of like his mouth is as well. Looks, looks kind of funny, like he's really smiling. Uh, it's got these black pieces right here, uh, kind of like whiskers, I guess. And I like the, the arm part, it's really cool, really uh, pointy on the shoulder. And this uh, crescent moon looking uh, design is a sticker that you could put on. Here is the emblem. You can see the wolf on it. Really cool. I like the hands. They kind of look like gauntlets. Um, same goes for the other side. Here's the feet. Uh, it's kind of wide and pointed, so uh, yeah, really good stability in the front, I guess you could say. And uh, overall, he kind of looks like um, like an armored knight to me because of the silver paints and um, like even on the feet, they kind of remind me of shin guards. And like I said before, these kind of remind me of gauntlets as well. And uh, the shoulders, like really tall, pointed uh, shoulder pads. Kind of reminds me of like Dedric armor from uh, uh, Elder Scrolls. But uh, anyway, so the core is uh, Gunlock. And here is the front view of it. So he has these little claw looking things coming out. Here are the uh, holding pieces right there. And on the back is where it's a uh, gimmick. I guess you could say. So, Gunlock. Uh, this reminds me of the Smash Core, but um, you could hold it a little bit more comfortably because it has this extra bit com uh, coming off. So, it makes your thumb fit very, very comfortably in there. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention that the head part kind of also acts like, um, like a sight on top. So, that's really cool. Alright, so... Uh, comes with one tool, I forgot to mention, and one Bidama. So this guy is a uh, power type. And let's test him out without the without the emblem charge. So let's put that guy all the way over there. And um, let's do a test fire. Alright, so you see how he kind of just, the, the, the Bidama kind of just like rolled over there and like it touched it but it didn't really uh, knock it over so not very powerful without the emblem charge so 
Let's try it with the emblem charge. I missed there, but um, definitely a lot more powerful. Alright, yeah, definitely a lot more powerful with the emblem charge, but the stats give it a 7 for power, and I feel like he's not that powerful. Not not a 7. I'd give him like, uh, maybe like a 5. He's very average, I guess you could say. Feels very average compared to other power types I've uh, handled. But yeah, I also just noticed that the emblem on this side has a lighter color than the one on this side. Which is really weird. I don't know why <laughs> what happened, but uh, yeah. Anyway, he looks really, really cool. I, I love this guy, even though he's not um, very, very powerful. Uh, he still looks cool, and I love the trigger back here. Really, really comfortable to uh, use. But yeah, I'd say he's like a beginner power type. <laughs> I don't know, I guess you could say. Um, not quite sure how to explain that, but he's not that powerful like how the the box says he is. Another thing I forgot to mention is the claw joint, which I was wondering about uh, earlier. So the claw joint, um, he has these little slots in the back, which look like the slots of Drive Garuburn on his feet. So he Drive Gar Garuburn has these um, claws you could take out. And you could put him on Gunlock Wolg for more stability in the back, which is pretty awesome. Plus, it gives it a, um, it like matches with the emblems, I think. It looks uh, really nice, so it's not like this part is just blue, but yeah. And I think it's kind of weird that he didn't come with these parts. You have to take them from Drive Garoburn. Um, but yeah, I wonder why they did that. But... I wish they had added these with Gunlock Wolg instead of having to take them from Drive Garburn. So that is about it for my unboxing and review of Crossfight Beatemon Starter CB57 Gunlock Wolg. If there's anything you'd like to add to this unboxing and review, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I appreciate any feedback. I'm also still kind of new to Crossfight Beatemon, so. I, st I really do appreciate any feedback, any f information is really, really appreciated. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with more. See you soon.